Lights up the box and plays the game He never reads instructions Cause they're lame, he's passable He plays the game so badly His eyes are twitching madly His hearing gets so sadly He's passable Hello, welcome back. Right, um, it's been a couple of weeks since I managed to do a uh, video. I've been a little bit busy work-wise, um, and the girls have um, their exams. They're coming up to their uh, final exams. Um, one for, uh, for end of first year college, and the other one's coming up to our GCSEs. Um, and like I said, been busy uh, work-wise. Um, so there's not been an awful lot of time to actually get stuff done, and I have fallen behind somewhat. Um, so this is uh, the video you're going to see, the review you're going to um, see is um, Impossible Bubble by Dave Clark, um, who sent this to me about four weeks ago asking if I wouldn't mind um, covering it and having a look at it. Um, so I apologise Dave that it's taken so long to get around to it um, for those reasons that I stated. Um, Mel the Bell, your Commodore 64 games cartridge that you sent me, I'm hoping to get that done soon. Alan Turvey, your Airwolf um, mod likewise and then I should hopefully be back on track and able to get back into uh, into doing things but here we are today we're playing or well, I'm playing Impossible Bubble um, it's by Dave Clark it's uh, download a ball from uh, his website which I will uh, post a link to in the uh, description box below it will cost you about a pound but you know um, I don't think we can uh, complain about that if people who are making these games and bringing them to us um, uh, charge a little bit for them, you know, why shouldn't they make a bit of money out of it, um, especially when they're um, fun as Impossible Bubble is. And soon it will also be released in physical format um, by Monument Microgames, so if you're one of the uh, people who likes to um, own your homebrew games on physical cassette, you'll be able to do that soon too. Anyway, uh, quick question, does anyone know where I can get an electric fence or a Doberman? Because uh, the Baz Cave um, has started to show signs of female encroachment um, upon it, which is not a good thing because women like to tend to do things like tidy up, um, which means invariably I can't bloody find anything, or they put things um, of their own sort of like all around the place. In my top drawer of my desk, I found uh, a bunch of clips for horses' tails and some folded up um, quaver packets which, uh, bear in mind there's only one person in the house who likes um, horses and quavers, and that's the youngest, when confronted with it, I don't know where they got there, as they tend to do. Right, um, anyway, I've, yeah, so I need to, I need to protect um, my environment. Um, need a Doberman, a Rottweiler, um, and like a tiger or something, if anyone's got one going spare. Right, going to go into the video, um, the review of uh, Impossible Bubble, um, like I say, the download link will be in the, in the description box below. I'm hoping to get back on track um, very, very, very soon, because this is something that I enjoy doing. See you in a bit. Here we go then, uh, Impossible Bubble from Dave Clark, with music by David Sapphire, who has provided an awful lot of soundtracks for a load of um, ZX Spectrum homebrew games recently. The Specky Homebrew Bruce scene is um, is amazingly strong. It's really, really um, something. I love uh, covering homebrew games. And thanks for asking me to uh, to uh, look at this game, Dave. Right, the premise is that um, an evil plot to create uh, assassins by using bubble mix has been foiled by yourself, but the penalty you have paid for your... Uh, uh, sticking your oar in is that you've been uh, turned into a bubble yourself and you have to somehow reverse that process by um, bouncing around the uh, the various levels finding the um, various vials of what I presume are um, bubble mix and reversing the process now to start with what you see um, you can see it's very very nicely presented very very simply designed um, and quite charming to look at um, and it sounds really really great too um, because of David Sa uh, Sapphire's um, music that he's added to it. really, really does give something to all the games that he um, does this for. Now, to start, well, there's only two keys, um, O and P left and right, and space for um, jump. If you press space a couple of times, you can get some height onto your jump. Everything tends to need to be pixel perfect, which can mean 
in the uh, early moments of playing the game that it can be quite frustrating and you know it can really really poke at your Tourette's gland. I scared the dog at one point by um, one rather yelling one rather loud expletive and uh, he got up and uh, ran out the back door. Um, sorry Yoda I didn't mean it but once you get the hang of it um, there's a lot to like about Impossible Bubble. It's um, strangely playable um, the more you get into it, especially when you get to a screen that's actually quite difficult, um, the fact that there's no time limit, you can you can look at it and work out what you need to do to get through it. And um, the sense of achievement when you actually do get through a screen that um, on first sighting is a, a complete bastard of a screen um, is really quite uh, quite something. It really is very very satisfying. This is a really good game, and I wasted uh, about an hour um, playing this, learning the vagaries of it, um, the ins and outs, etc. I, I didn't get very far, and that's not because of any um, fault in game design. It's because I'm just not a good game player. Um, I never get very far in uh, many games. And the, um, the purpose of the video is just to show you what it's like and encourage you to go out and uh, get it yourself and leave some comments etc either in the comments box of uh, of my video um, or um, on Dave's site itself which is of course linked below and you can um, you can add uh, comments to it because it's all about encouragement that's what's needed you know people need to know that it's worth them making these games um, that people enjoy playing them that you know that people are willing to, to fork out a quid or two um, to pick them up or even more if they want to get a physical version which as I mentioned in the intro is coming courtesy of Monument Microgames but I don't know don't have any information as and when that's gonna happen but as you can see um, it's really really uh, quite a good fun little game um, I did enjoy it and I suspect um, that the majority of you that will play it um, if you haven't already because it has been out for a while so those of you that follow the homebrew scene um, may well have already experienced Impossible Bubble um, but for those of you that haven't I strongly urge you to not only just check out this but um, other homebrew games as well um, if you're new to homebrew games then by all means have a look in my uh, published playlist because I do have a homebrew playlist um, I've said all that I really need to say and if I don't discipline myself I will continue rabbiting on for hours um, so just a couple of final thoughts here um, there's a lot really really nice um, things in this game this is reminiscent of Bruce Lee these um, waterfalls etc um, that sort of propel you upwards and they do propel you upwards um, and this is the screen that was as far as I could get but I really did enjoy um, the journey getting this far it was uh, progress for me um, slowly but surely Right, that's Impossible Bubble. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you um, like the look of the game and it encourages you to go out and get it. If you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But if you do subscribe, as I always say, please, please, please take the time to join in the discussion, um, especially um, leaving comments of you know, encouragement um, to Dave, not only Dave, but um, other people um, who create homebrew games, etc. You know, we need to know that um, there's an audience and a market for the stuff that they're doing. There's not an awful lot more for me to say. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.